आगे चल करके मुझे इन्वेस्टर्स को कन्विंस करना है कस्टमर्स को कन्विंस करना है तो अगर मैं अपने पेरेंट्स को नहीं कन्विंस कर सकता कि वो मुझे सपोर्ट करें तो मैं किसे सपोर्ट कर सकता हूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि एक्चुअली पेरेंट्स कैन बी योर बेस्ट सपोर्ट इको इट डजेंट मैटर यू स्टे विद दैम और यू डोंट स्टे विद दैम I say this very less, like very rarely. That, dude, you are genuinely like an inspiration. And so very generous of you. I say. don't. So, I may aspire to become certain people because of n number of things. Maybe I like the way somebody thinks. I like the way people have built something. Maybe I like the materialistic things. X, Y, Z. Right. I aspire to do a lot of things. But there are only few people who have like really inspired me in my life. You're one of them. And I'll tell you why. So I used to read Forbes a lot. when i was in school i was getting out of college uh, i was getting out of school and i used to forbes like page to page and because of that i used to read businesses and i used to be like i used to compare myself with back in college huh yeah back in back college. in school back in school you were standard yeah amazing amazing and uh, this was 2012 okay so for people in 12th grade if you want to build a new business uh, uh do what raj does <laughs> so 12th i used to read like top to bottom and i used to enjoy it it's not So I was. I it started with the knack of who's the billionaire of India, top hundred people, all of that, and then slowly I was like, Ki, let me read, see the young people who are building stuff, and I think two thousand thirteen, fourteen, your name started popping up. Fourteen was it? I don't know. When when was when you actually got SEO? Thirteen, fourteen ish. I think fifteen is when our company really started becoming fourteen or fifteen. It became yeah. So fourteen ish. Let's say. So I was in college. I started reading on young entrepreneurs. When your name started popping up. and i started reading everything about you and then i found out about peter thiel through you then i oh, found wow. out about thiel fellowship through you then i found out ki 0 to 1 kya hota hai then i found out ki competition for losers kya hota hai so because i started digging in your journey i kind of started learning about how to build startup or what to do and how to focus on your strength so thanks a lot for doing this that's very nice of you to say i'll tell you this that um, growing up uh, you know reading Uh, all of these publications are best way to learn and best way to like just genuinely seek inspiration right so a lot of people complain they say that you know when people you know i grew up reading tech crunch and you know plugged in which yeah. used to be the very popular news site then your story of course all of these um, websites which talk about entrepreneurs and stories of entrepreneurs right so a lot of people say that these uh, publications make it look so easy that people want to do it yeah. it's not as easy you know it by now yeah. i know it by now but i actually feel it's a good thing yeah uh, i think while people should know that there are challenges but i feel that if you're not naive when you're starting up if you know how challenging it is maybe 90% of the people will not try it itself right including myself if i thought it was very hard i would have never tried it yeah given i knew that or at least i thought that it is super easy and look at all these publications they make it look very easy so i should give it a go so i gave it a go myself so i think uh getting inspired by these publications and and wanting to make a difference fantastic so it absolutely is. love it and there's a saying right what you focus on is what you want, what you become yeah so if you focus on this let's say publications entrepreneurship you feel that it's easy you focus on opportunities you will see multiple opportunities yeah. and if you see focus on failures you will just find the knacks and try to be like okay ye bhi to galat ho jayega ye bhi galat ho jayega sabhi galat ho jayega and then that that's how you fuck up most of the things okay so tell me honestly did you design it from the beginning like when you were very i mean you're still young but let's say when you were like very young 16 17 18 did you design your growth this way that i'm going to start it this way i'm going to make the unicorn then i'm going to become xyz person and do this and that go overseas build india's largest brand was it all by design or So first off, I think uh, 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 you know uh, it's a very tough one, but no, I did not design it. That's a simple <laughs> answer, right? Because uh, you know, look, as a, as a sixteen, seventeen year old, who thinks that you know you you'll build a like f- forget a big business, you'll build a real business at all, right? Like I think uh, I just had this mission of wanting to make a difference. I wanted to do something good. I wanted to make sure that. Uh, so I'll give you a quick background about myself. I grew up in uh, a town called Raigada. Okay. This is in the Andhra Odisha border. Mm-hmm. So I speak both Odia, Telugu, uh, uh, and of course uh, Hindi, English, um, and so on. Uh, and right, f- and I'm the youngest of four kids. Okay. Right. 
so the three elder siblings of mine two elder sisters one elder brother and i am the youngest so uh, all the elder three siblings were asian parents dream mm. engineering business school good job uh, everything right yeah. all the tick marks that you expect from asian parents i was the black sheep i always wanted to do something different yeah. so our parents are like okay we got 75% of the portfolio right <laughs> this one will see how this turns out yeah. right uh but you know credit to them uh i think uh, you know uh, because my eldest sister uh, you know was good in education she wanted to make a difference i've always seen that the elder sibling sort of inspires the other siblings to pursue a certain path so i think because she was responsible i was half as responsible at least mm. um so anyway long story short i went to kota rajasthan for my 11th and 12th grade education okay um it was partly because i wanted to pursue engineering okay okay tell me honestly was it your choice or you were forced by your parents or elder uh, so, elder siblings to do so this? you will uh, understand that fully when i tell you the second thing. okay uh it was absolutely my choice but the reason was very simple i wanted to be as far away from home as possible because i wanted to pursue my un- whatever entrepreneurial or new things that i wanted to do and i figured that from raigada to kota will be a three day train journey right yeah. because you have to go from raigada to bhubneshwar bhubneshwar to delhi and delhi to kota okay. it's three train rides right so uh, you know i thought that you know nobody is going to come visit me <laughs> i'll go visit them so uh, i have all the time for myself so this just makes you feel like it would have been more deliberate <laughs> but you know look i think uh, and and also i am very thankful to my parents to consider that because you know um, all my three elder siblings they went to places in and around uh, the place i grew up at right like uh, you know the town i come from if you go to barampur or uh, balangir these are smaller towns yeah. in odisha those are considered like cosmopolitan upgrades okay. uh, from uh, you know uh, for potential 11th and 12th grade right where people would go to and you know there are great education options there right so but for me i just wanted to uh, be closer to uh, you know uh, cities where new businesses were getting built or something new was happening because i wanted to be a part of the story i didn't know what i'll do why i'll do and this idea got started because i started selling telecom sim cards mm. when i was in my 6th or 7th grade at 7th you started selling sim cards how this is summer thing right to do okay. something new so that got me thinking that ye bada acha hai i want to do more and more of these things uh, so you know i think that that sort of inspired me to come to kota i think right after 12th grade there's 6 months between school and university i was naive enough to think i should start a business of my own a guarantee i think uh, nowadays when i reflect back if i knew 20% of what i know today i would have never tried <laughs> so that's why i said naivety is good kam pata hota to acha hota kyunki kam se kam aisa lagta hai ki chalo hum kar lenge because you don't know how hard it is how risky it is you know a, you know you it know. is you know your journey makes me feel like your poster boy for two things in india one like the entrepreneurial dream indian dream everything go hustle do it when you're young you can go build something right your poster boy for that and your poster boy of everything what indian parents don't want you to do <laughs> <laughs> बताओ मुझे ये कि डू यू सजेस्ट दैट जो भी अभी ये देख रहा है जिसको ऑन्टरप्रीनोर बनना है उसको ये ऐसा अगर थाट आता है कि बिकॉज मैं मेरे घर पर हूँ तो मैं बहुत कम्फर्टेबल हूँ या वैसी मेरी थिंकिंग मैच नहीं हो पा रही है तो मैं थोड़े दिन के लिए बाहर चले जाता हूँ छः महीने दूर हो जाता हूँ घर से या एक साल दूर होता हूँ दूसरी सिटी में जाता हूँ और कुछ ट्राई करता हूँ do you suggest that logo ko karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye nahi i don't think i suggest that i think what i suggest is uh dekhiye main aapko batata hu ki jab maine 12th ke baad mein jab maine socha ki main karta hu i'll tell you i had this open conversation with my parents hmm. i called them i said ye hai uh, of course they were quite disappointed when they figured that i was planning to do something like this uh but my view was saying that aage chal kar ke mujhe investors ko convince karna hai customers ko convince karna hai to agar main apne parents ko nahi convince kar sakta कि वो मुझे सपोर्ट करें तो मैं किसे सपोर्ट कर सकता हूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि एक्चुअली पेरेंट्स कैन बी योर बेस्ट सपोर्ट इकोसिस्टम इट डजेंट मैटर यू स्टे विद देम और यू डोंट स्टे विद देम एक्चुअली इंटरनेट में कई जगहों में ऐसा एक वो देर इज अ दिस थिंग यू नो विच सेज दैट यू नो मे बी आई हैव सेट दिस दैट यू नो स्टे अवे फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स आई डोंट मीन दैट आई से दैट इट्स ओके टू यू नो नॉट ओके आई एक्चुअली एनकरेज यू टू स्टे विद पेरेंट्स बट टू द एक्सटेंट यू आर एबल टू हैव एन ओपन कॉन्वर्जेशन विद दैम एंड कन्विंस दैम and you know some people say ki nahi wo nahi mante hai hamari thinking alag hai mm. but it's critical to know that agar aapne 100 logon ko convince karna hai aage chal kar ke investors ko customers ko uh, partners ko sabko convince karna hai to ye to aapke parents hai they will understand 
it will take more hard work yeah. as it will take with anyone else but you have to be willing to put put in that yes. hard work but linked to this is the other perspective right which is saying that when you are growing up it is also critical to surround yourself with the right people maine hamesha sikha hai at least i have learned this for myself you are always the average of five people beside you okay whether you are growing up whether you and jo aapne bataya ki uh, what you learn from right um uh, whether when i was in my senior high school whether it is when i was building my company or whether it is today i try to surround myself with the five people i aspired i aspired to become uh, like one of them it's challenging right because you'll always feel you're outside your comfort zone yeah because of panch log aapse behtar hi hai usi usi ke karan aapne koshish karna hai ki main unke jaisa banna chahta hu so when i was growing up i would try to surround myself with the kids who were uh, wanting to do some new science experiment or were wanting to, or with uh, people who were trying to sell telecom sim cards which are people nobody else wants to surround themselves with yeah and there will always be and you know i'm sure among your viewers you'll find people in in a classroom there will always be those 10% kids who think that maine kuch naya try karna hai mm. in those times instead of trying to conform to average trying to say it's okay i want to try to do something different and there is a lot of successful opportunity in that jaise main aapko batata hu when i was growing up you know in a class everyone is asked right saying what do you want to become yeah so you say engineer doctor you know there will be like two or three things so once right like just as crazy as some once i had heard about the word entrepreneur mm. i had no idea what it was It was just a different thing, so I kept. I started saying after that, "Ki mujhe entrepreneur banna hai," right? Like, कुछ नहीं पता उसका मतलब क्या है, क्यों है. But I, it was new, right? Yeah. But being able to chart your own path without having to conform to the uh, normal Certainly normal uh, uh, perspective is fine. But you have to be willing to then walk that path for a long time because it's uh, it's it comes with yeah. its own uh, set of challenges. Similarly, when you know uh, i was starting my business i tried to surround myself with primarily small business owners who were hotel owners because i wanted to become a subject matter expert of small business owners who run hotels mm. it's a very different ecosystem yeah. right for a 18 19 year old to spend uh, his or time her there, time yeah. with right but it is fantastic i learned so much and they have all ended up becoming some of my best friends even today and i was telling this to you earlier small business owners are so good that if you become systemic to their business you will be long term successful there is no disagreement with that so these people you know if we make a mistake they'll send me a whatsapp saying ritesh ye galat ho raha hai aapke app mein ye service galat hai isse mujhe lagta hai ki mera neighbor hotel aapke uh, uh, system mein nahi judega hmm. i want to make sure oyo is so successful because if oyo is very successful i am very successful ah. so surrounding yourself with the right people then and of course now i try to surround myself with people um, you know of course still continue to be my uh, hotel owners that's not going to change in all my life my clients but i also try to surround myself with people who i want to learn from who are the best product creators who are the best brand creators because i want to learn from them so pushing yourself outside the comfort zone uh, in surrounding yourself with people um who who are examples of what you want to aspire for is is something i'd say is uh, is, is something i more which. important than actually leaving out the house or anything of that sort in fact you just pointed out right ki internet paisa chal raha hai maine bhi kahin padha tha i think kisi page pe aaya tha that uh, in the beginning years stay away uh, from family oh, ritesh agarwal by by using raj's episode ki main aisa kuch nahi manta <laughs> main bas ye kehta hu ki agar aapko uh, kuch karna hai तो आपको इंश्योर करना पड़ेगा कि उसके लिए आपके पेरेंट्स बहुत अच्छे सपोर्ट इकोसिस्टम बन सकते हैं बट आपको उसके लिए उनसे बात करना पड़ेगा एंड इफ यू आर अवे और एट होम यू हैव टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग टू लिव यू नो इन अ मैनर वेर यू आर सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट यू हैव टू मेक योर ओन बेड लाइक दीज आर ऑल वेरी पर्सनल ट्रेट्स बट यू स्टार्ट टू डू मोर थिंग्स बाई योर सेल्फ इज द अदर थिंग आई रिकमेंड सो आई ऑल्सो बिलीव इन द सेम थिंग सो आई से वेन पीपल टेल मी दैट कि यू नो हमको हमारे पेरेंट्स को कन्विंस करना है सो आई वॉज डूइंग बिजनेस विद माई फैमिली एंड वी स्केल दैट बिजनेस फ्राम सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी थ्री आई वॉज डूइंग दैट बिजनेस एंड वी स्केल दैट बिजनेस फ्राम लेट्स ए वी वेन आई जॉइन इट वॉज एक्स एंड वेन आई लेफ्ट इट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू एक्स इन जस्ट फ्यू ईयर्स राइट वाह एंड इट वॉज इन सेन सो इट वॉज ग्रोइंग आई हैड अ वेरी गुड रिलेशनशिप विद माई पेरेंट्स एंड देन आई लेफ्ट एंड नाउ हव बिल्ट अ करियर योर सो पीपल से दैट हाउ डू यू कन्विंस योर पेरेंट्स टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस and i also have the same thing that ki kisi ko bhi convince karne ke liye whether oh customer hai investor hai tum unko pehle samajhna padta hai pehle tum unko samjhoge fir unki needs or wants understand karoge fir unko kya chahiye aur kahan pe problem hai wo solve karoge by providing a solution right to yahan pe to tumhe journey ground zero se start karni hai 
पेरेंट्स को तो तुम ऑलरेडी समझते हो तो तुम्हारे लिए ईजियर होना चाहिए कंपेरेटिवली टू कस्टमर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड अ बिजनेस और तुम चाहते हो कि हजारों लाखों कस्टमर्स तुमसे सीखें और तुम्हारा प्रोडक्ट खरीदें और तुम उनको समझ के आगे चीज़ें करो उससे बेटर है कि तुम पहले पेरेंट्स को समझ जाओ और समझा दो करेक्ट तो लाखों लोग कैसे खरीदेंगे जब दो लोग नहीं समझ रहे तो एब्सोल्युटली so, और देखिए कई बार ऐसा नहीं जरूरी है कि पेरेंट्स आपके सारी प्रोडक्ट समझ जाए बिजनेस स्ट्रैटी yeah. समझ जाए बट वो समझे ना समझे कम से कम अपनी जिम्मेवारी बनती है टू मेक श्योर दैट वी एटलीस्ट ट्राई एंड पुट आवर अर्नेस्ट एफर्ट टू ट्राई एंड मेक द डिफरेंस एंड यूल फाइंड इट दैट यू नो पीपल जनरली मीन गुड फॉर ईच अदर राइट जनरली मतलब पेरेंट्स तो आर फैमिली टू यू बट रिगार्डलेस पीपल मीन गुड फॉर ईच अदर आई नो दैट सम ऑफ योर व्यूअर्स में से दैट दे हैव फाउंड पीपल हु डोंट मीन गुड एट्सेट्रा बट एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू बिलीव ऑफ द वर्ल्ड समथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट द वर्ल्ड टू बी दैट्स वैन द वर्ल्ड विल यू नो बिहेव द सेम वे विथ यू सो आई थिंक इफ यू फील दैट लोग आपके लिए अच्छा करना चाह रहे हैं तो आप यूल सी दैट एटलीस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट पीपल डू गुड टू यू ठीक है बीस तीस परसेंट लोग होंगे विच इज दैर द सेकेंड थिंग यू सैड लाइक यू स्टार्ट इन इन्वेस्टिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम विथ योर स्मॉल बिजनेस ओनर्स एंड मेरी जर्नी भी ऐसी ही थी आई फाउंड आउट अ प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट इन सर्च इन इन लाइक अ टिपिकल लैंग्वेज वॉज डिश वॉश जेल फॉर मी बिकॉज वॉट आई डिड एज अ सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड मेरे को ये था कि मुझे एफ एम सी जी प्रोडक्ट करना है क्योंकि मैंने एक बुक पढ़ ली थी थिंक एंड ग्रो रिच एंड देर इज गाय एंड्रू कार्निगे वो बोलता है कि ऐसी चीज़ में प्रोडक्ट और बिजनेस बनाओ जो डेली यूज़ हो जिसकी आदत लग जाए जो कभी ख़त्म नहीं हो तो रिसेशन प्रूफ तो मुझे लगा ऐसी चीज़ें तो किराना स्टोर में मिलती है राइट एंड एज अ किड वॉट वुड यू फील कि किराना स्टोर पर हाँ साबुन से नहाना कोई बन नहीं करेगा आटा आटा दाल लेना कोई बन नहीं करेगा सो आई स्टार्ट स्पेंडिंग अ लॉड ऑफ टाइम विद दिस किराना स्टोर आई वुड जस्ट गो देर एंड स्टैंड and just observe them and then i observed that the in 2013 14 the world was shifting to liquids hand soaps were getting replaced by hand wash hand washes bathing soaps were getting replaced by shower gels yes and dishwash bars were getting replaced by dishwash gels to mujhe ye insight hi pata nahi chalta kabhi agar main wahan jaake khada nahi hota ki log liquid ke liye zyada pay karte hain comparatively to solids and that's how i started a business in the liquids and then we built it so it's very important as someone who's watching that to spend their time with small businesses right and with small business insight i want to pick this up ki i was reading that there is there are two types of businesses in today's world tech for good and tech consolidation right to adhiktar log aisa bolte hain ki tech companies jo hoti hain wo small business empowerment ke liye aati hai aur fir uske baad itna zyada control aur consolidate kar deti ki they run the power so how do you feel ki you are empowering people how do you feel that this is not the case with because i understand ki ek jo ola driver hai wo pehle kuch nahi kama raha tha lekin ab ola ke sath bahut kama raha hai lekin technically in one way ola has a lot of power now where they can decide which drivers gonna earn how much i don't know if they are doing that or not i'm not claiming that i'm just saying that's a lot of power do you think it's a good power or a bad power aur usko kaise use kar sakte hain aur oyo kaise kar raha hai because If you are building like the largest chain, then you will be one of those key players, जिसकी एक moral responsibility होगी कि जितने लोग हैं, जितने लोग connected हैं, वो लोग सब grow आपके साथ, and it doesn't become the power good which stays beyond your like let's say let's say after if you leave, how are you gonna ensure कि ये same mission पे भी चले जाएँ? तो राज देखिए सबसे पहले जो आपने बताया कि आप जाकर के किराने के दुकान में खड़े रहते थे, सबसे पहले समझना जरूरी कि इंडिया ऐसी देश है जहाँ की पूरी इकोनॉमी फ्यूल होती है छोटे बिजनेसेस से चाहे वो किराने की दुकान है चाहे वो पास का ऑटोमोबाइल शॉप है चाहे वो पास का शॉप है जो कॉबलर है या फिर ब्लैकस्मिथ है या फिर जो छोटा सा रेस्टोरा चलाता है भी रेस्टोरा उनसे कहते हैं लाइक स्मॉल शॉप राइट वेर यू गेट योर फूड फ्राम इफ यू हैव टू ब्रिंग इट छोटा सा ढाबा ढाबा ये दीज आर दीपल ड्राइविंग नॉट ड्राइविंग थ्राइविंग एंड लीडिंग इंडियन इकोनॉमी राइट hmm. right? तो टेक्नोलॉजी इकोसिस्टम के लिए सबसे बड़ा वैल्यू है कि इनको आकर के और मदद करें और इनको और सक्सेसफुल बनाए देर विल बी कंपनीज हुई से कि अच्छा नहीं आई विल कम इन एंड क्रिएट अ बेटर ब्लैक स्मिथ स्टोर आई विल कम इन एंड क्रिएट अ बेटर किराना शॉप आई विल कम इन एंड क्रिएट अ बेटर रिपेयर शॉप दीज आर टू मॉडल्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग बिजनेसिस मेरा पर्सपेक्टिव है कि इंडिया के अंदर में क्योंकि स्मॉल बिजनेसेस इतने सिस्टमिक हैं और वो इतने अच्छे से इंडिया इज बाय डिज़ाइन एन आंटरप्रोनोरियल नेशन हमारे यहाँ पे लोगों में हमेशा ये आइडिया चलता रहता है कि क्या बिजनेस मैं तो गुड़गांव से हूँ गुड़गांव में हर इंसान रियल इस्टेट में इन्वॉल्व है 
ایسا کوئی انسان نہیں جو ریئل اسٹیٹ میں انوالو نہیں سب کا کوئی نہ کوئی بزنس چل رہا ہے ریئل اسٹیٹ میں رائٹ سو اگین آئی آئی مین اٹ یو نو ان ان اے گڈ وے دیٹ از اے لارج نمبر آف گڈ گاؤنس پاپولیشن سم تھنگ ٹو ڈو وتھ ریئل اسٹیٹ اینڈ دیٹس وائی گڈ گاؤنس بیکم سچ اے بگ ریئل اسٹیٹ ہب آلسو اینڈ اٹس ویری گڈ دیٹ پیپل بیونڈ واٹ دے ار ڈوئنگ وہ چاہ رہے ہیں کہ ان کی سائڈ اصل برقرار رہے اور کچھ نہ کچھ چلتا رہے کریکٹ so that kind of a thinking is fascinating to me and i believe that that is why in india if you have to be successful as a business uh, uh, leader no matter what business you are in you have to do business with small businesses and empower and make them successful the second thing that i want to share is uh, what what i shared with you earlier as well uh, experience is cheap and reflection is expensive yeah which means that standing at the kirana shop is frankly while valuable it makes not much of a difference many people are sitting at the kirana shop in fact you know uh, uh, growing up in raida i used to see wahan pe tv chalta raha tha log baith kar ke chai peete rehte the people used to spend a lot of time so people were getting experienced every day in seeing kirana shop dealings but nobody was reflecting on saying ki acha dish washing bars jo hain gel se replace ho rahi hain acha kirana shop mein abhi telecom recharge bhi bikne lagi hai hmm. اچھا کرانا شاپ کے اندر میں ابھی امیزون کی ڈلیوریز اور ای کامرس امیزون فلپ کارٹ سب کی ڈلیوریز کی انیبلمنٹ ہونی شروع ہو گئی ہے سو دے آر بیکمنگ ناؤ دا لوکل ایکو سسٹم لیڈر ورسز جسٹ بینگ دا سیلر اینڈ ہینس بیسز دیٹ آئی ول بلڈ اے بزنس وچ کین آئی بی اے ڈش واشنگ جیل اور بینگ دا ہب اینڈ اسپوک بسائڈ دم سیلس سو دیٹ از وائی آئی بلیو دیٹ آپ کو اگر زندگی میں کبھی بھی کوئی چیز میں ایکسپیرینس مل رہا ہے تو اسے وہاں تک سیمت مت رکھنا ہمیشہ اپنے آپ کو پوچھنا کہ اچھا اس ایکسپیرینس سے کیا ریفلیکٹ کر کے میں بہتر کر سکتا ہوں آئی ڈو دس ایٹ او یو آل دا ٹائم رائٹ جیسے یو نو اینڈ آئی تھنک دس اے گڈ سیگوے ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ٹیکس پاور فار گڈ رائٹ ہے آئی بلیو دیٹ ٹیک ہیز ٹو بی فار دا گڈ اف اٹ ہیز ٹو بی سسٹینیبل اٹ ول بائی ڈیزائن آئی تھنک دا گڈ نیوز از دا فنڈامنٹل لا آف اکنامکس اینڈ کامرس سیز دیٹ اف تھری پیپل ڈونٹ ون اٹ ول بریک Mm. it is just uh, and it has been proven time and time again okay can you explain it further see uh, with an example ki who right. are the three people to win so for example let's say there is a big digital platform which is uh, which sells ads okay right and then there is a small individual business mm. right if the individual business does not make a marginal additional profit by doing business with that big um uh, you know uh, as a platform then at some point of time the small business owner will either have to uh, you know uh, stop doing business with a uh, big person is not sustainable yeah or will try and find workarounds hmm. to try and take advantage of the big platform without having to pay them fully right or the other way around that is the small business owner is benefiting but the big platform is not able to survive yeah then at some point of time the big platform will say that i can't create value for you true so good news is in the world of commerce there is if sustainability has to be brought it will always come at the value uh, creation for all parties hmm. if one party is not creating value that system will break down at some point yeah time. that's the belief i at least operate with hmm. so you may say ritesh ye to matlab utopian world ho gaya but reality hai ki aaj ke din mein that is not true everywhere uh-huh. and you know we read about it all the time i think that's a journey you will see uh, some situations where people don't fully follow it uh, and companies will get feedback that they should improve if they improve it quick enough then they will survive and thrive in times to come hmm. and if they don't uh, respond to it quick enough then the model will break and and some now coming to oyo specific right so at oyo also we've had uh, two segments of journey until 2018 you know everything was going fine our owners used to say thumbs up you're doing a great job we used to say you're doing a great job life's good uh, we were all growing together i think in 2019 for the first time and you may have seen some of the news reports as well where there were some feedback from our hotel owners saying that oyo needs to improve yeah now uh, and they had two or three primary reasons of feedback i will explain what those are now in that time we there are two ways one could have dealt with it hmm. one could have said that okay it's only 5% or 10% of the owners 90% of the owners don't have a problem so let's live uh, uh, you know in the same manner as we are or the other was saying that every marginal owner matters now they may or may not believe it 
uh, but at least we should talk to each one of them listen to them and do our best to make sure that we can learn and become a better company i and our company chose the latter mm. so we said we acknowledge that there are problems we will not uh, shy away from it because if there are you know a certain percentage of our owners saying this uh, while it may mean that uh, some other percent of our owners are happy but these owners have a problem and you know uh, our job is to make sure that they are successful so there are four things i did and these are things that you know if your business is uh, needing to align more of your small business uh, small business around you you may try and take it as, you know uh, as an advantage if you feel like the first is i started doing monthly town halls okay with 100% of our hotel owners and i still do it today okay where all our owners join and 100% of the questions the good bad and ugly are discussed about hmm right seedha sambad which is saying that we will not just hear from you through our teams through feedback forms and so on we'll all come sit together and talk yeah i have realized hearing two sided views makes life incredibly easy okay because my ability to appreciate some of the challenges with the, uh, without hearing it directly from an uh, small hotel owner and for a small hotel owner to appreciate why we have made a policy with hearing it directly from me made life significantly easy right and it sounds non scalable right it sounds non scalable but i have learned that doing non scalable things also create the most value so i chose to do it so that's the first one yeah second and thing, it's a good one yeah because it's a it's a very good one that doing non scalable things actually create most value because you know most people <clears throat> spend time saying that ki mereko scale karna hai <clears throat> but वो स्केल करने के पहले वो इनसाइट पता होना जरूरी है कि आप वो स्केल करेंगे कैसे वो इनसाइट आपको तब तक पता ही नहीं चलेगा इफ योर इयर्स आर नॉट क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड इफ योर आईज आर नॉट क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड सो बैक इन द डे व्हेन आई वाज स्टार्टिंग ओयो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ओयो फॉर हंड्रेड डेज आई स्टेड डिफरेंट होटल्स एंड आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग ओयो फॉर टू ईयर्स आई डेंट हैव अ हाउस एवरी डे आई वुड फिनिश वर्क एंड देन आई गो एंड स्टेट एन ओयो होटल इट ऑल्सो वर्क परफेक्टली फॉर मी राइट बिकॉज the you know the hotel would do the laundry they would clean the room uh, you know in your own house yeah. a lot of these things you have to do yourself so it worked well for me and oyos are of course great experiences with the right price uh, you know our consumers also believe it but i i believe it definitely <laughs> that's why <laughs> I, <had> so, <laughs> i was i was a oyo customer for a very long time so there you go right i, I hope all all <laughs> yeah, all good yeah. in fact if i used to go to small towns right wahan pe बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है तो ट्रस्ट की कौन से होटल पे ट्रस्ट करो कौन से पे नहीं करो एंड ओयो पे ट्रस्ट करके आपको पाँच सौ हज़ार रुपये मिल जाता था आई रिमेंबर नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन का कुछ एक बहुत बढ़िया स्कीम चलता था आई यूज टू बाई दैट ओन इनफैक्ट इन बॉम्बे ऑफ स्टेड इन नाइन एंड नाइन्टी वेरी गुड प्राइस आप सोचो बॉम्बे में अगर पाँच साल पहले या सात साल पहले बिफोर ओयो वॉज देर मैं आके रहा हूँ यहाँ पे वैन ओयो वॉज नॉट देर इट यूज टू बी एक्सेप्शनली चैलेंजिंग टू फाइंड इवन अ गुड क्वालिटी रूम फॉर दो हज़ार लेट अलो नौ सौ निन्यानवे राइट you would go to like some like i'll tell you i stayed in a room which was actually a sharing room hmm. where i paid 1900 rupees before oyo right in in actually uh, this area only andheri west mein so it, it it used to be very challenging now yeah. finding a place for 1000 1500 2000 which is a clean room now a lot of our customers complain ki acha mumbai ke rooms jo hai are not of the same size as gurgaon hmm. but you know that just to do with the yeah. real estate of the city uh but i think you know for for that price that location uh, that quality we try to do our uh, yeah. best and that's why consumers like it so i think uh, this is the second one that is you have to keep your ears close to the ground and i tried doing that okay. and that that's helped us second there were three primary issues that our owners were giving us feedback for first issue was saying that we used to pay our small business owners once a month hmm. right and their perspective was ritesh you manage your payouts or your company's payouts in a manner that you say that okay we have this 15 day credit period and after 15 days we'll pay out to the people who are our vendors but in our business it doesn't work that way hmm. in our business if we have to pay some person if the next morning the person shows up in the front of our shop we have to pay them money okay the, the, yeah. right so we need cash much quicker so even if our business may go up like 2 to 1 and a half times that business is only valuable if we get cash very quickly yeah. right so we moved from a month to bi weekly to now there are uh, any owner who gives 3.5 plus rating they get daily payouts oh to a place where last time i was in mumbai i was in mumbai a week back so i went meeting bunch of our patrons i went to meet javed bhai i went to meet uh, shukla ji a bunch of our owners and their feedback to me was ye actually na aap daily nahi karo bi weekly rakho because itne bar paise aa jate hain 
कि फिर उसको संभालना मुश्किल हो जाता है कहते हैं कि अभी आप बहुत अच्छा कर दिया आपने पेमेंट एक महीने से आप बाई वीकली चल हो गया वो ठीक है इनफैक्ट आप वीकली कर दो अभी कोई बात नहीं सो दिस इज वन फीडबैक वी यूज टू गेट सो वी चेंज दैट द मैटर सेकेंड फीडबैक वी यूज टू रिसीव is resolutions earlier we used to have only physical field people who so if you had a problem as a hotel owner one of our team members will go and help you hmm. what we realized from a lot of our owners is that bahut sare chote chote issues hote hain jiske liye you don't need somebody to physically show up and if somebody physically shows up thoda delay ho jata hai time lagta hai uske andar mein so in order to make it easy we try to now set up a bot system where we have a bot slash chat experience where if you have any issue you ask there and we will resolve your query from there and of course if you need somebody they can come but that's yeah. a l2 or an l3 it's a level 2 or a level 3 rather than a level 1 resolution yeah 85% of our issues now get resolved by using this chat or chatbot uh, based ecosystem mm-hmm. right this has dramatically improved um, not just the quality of experience for our patrons even the cost structure because now my field teams can focus on bigger things rather than focusing on tactical issues right and the third thing was a pricing that is our patrons wanted to try and um, have us appreciate that sometimes we would price too low or sometimes you'd price too high yeah so too low is in the sense of saying that if there is a snowfall in shimla you should assume that a lot of people will drive from delhi ncr punjab etc like at that point of time so in those places we may be able to get 5% higher price hmm. at the same time if there is a city where you know let's say there is um, you know a festival due to which let's say in a, in a bengaluru during festival most people will go back home yeah so due to which the bengaluru city travel will be lower hmm. so that time maybe it's important to drop prices a little bit so while most details we are able to get by using our data sciences some details we did not have for example weather pattern was not a part of our pricing logic earlier yeah so now we have given our patrons we call our hotel owners patrons a way to give us feedback on pricing saying that there is this event hence increase or reduce prices so not only do we change it for that day we then build it as a part of our logic so now basis weather pattern or prices will dynamically change wow right so we are able to learn from market changes in our own owners and make further improvements so i think these three things we have changed and we are at a significantly better place today you would rarely see nowadays owners complaining about issues over the last few months publicly at least privately in our uh, town halls there's always going to be problems <laughs> because you know uh, it's an it's an evolving <clears throat> journey but uh, you know uh, we, if we were perfect then we would not need to exist we are all evolving but yeah. the good news is now we all operate as a family we say that acha ye sari cheeze achhi hogi but ye ek cheez aur behtar karni so i have a believe in life ओके बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्या वो बिलीव इन दिस लाइफ कि जब लोग बाहर पब्लिकली कंप्लेन करते हैं ना हर चीज के बारे में तब उन्हें ना जिसके बारे में कंप्लेन कर रहे हैं उस पर ट्रस्ट नहीं होता कि वो सॉल्व करेगा और जब वो बाहर नहीं जाते ना उनको प्रॉब्लम तब भी होती है लेकिन उन्हें ट्रस्ट होता है कि सामने वाला सॉल्व कर देगा लाइक like, अगर ये घर में भी देखते हैं अगर वी नो दैट अवर मॉम एंड डैड कोई प्रॉब्लम है जो पापा मम्मी सॉल्व कर देंगे तो हम उनके पास ही जाते हैं या भाई को बोलेंगे या दादी को बोलेंगे कि यार आप बोलो करो लेकिन जो प्रॉब्लम मुझे लगता है मेरे पापा समझते ही नहीं वो हम दोस्त को जाके बोलेंगे वो हम दूसरे लोगों को जाके बोले सो सिमिलरली इन द बिजनेस एज वेल सो नाउ दैट इफ पीपल आर नॉट कमिंग आउट पब्लिकली एंड डूइंग प्राइवेटली इट मींस लाइक दे हैव स्टार्टेड ट्रस्टिंग बैक अगेन डू यू रिफर टू दैट और डू यू थिंक नो आई फुली एग्री राइट लुक आई थिंक एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एवरी बिजनेस हैज कंटिन्यूड एरियाज ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट राइट इन दैट प्रोसेस व्हेन योर बिजनेस पार्टनर्स ग्रेट रिलेशनशिप्स आर बिल्ट when you can have tough conversations on both sides so the first time when a business partner or a colleague of mine has a tough conversation with me saying that they are doing this wrong or this is um this decision is wrong we should not be doing this or this is a business that we should not be investing in i tell them ki oyo ke liye kya hoga wo to secondary but mujhe badi khushi hai ki hamara relationship isse behtar ho jayega because the first time where both of us are able to have a heart to heart conversation and we will now know each other We will now, I will know कि आप कहाँ से सोचते हैं आप समझ सकते हैं कि मैं कहाँ से सोचता हूँ तो मेरा इनफैक्ट ये रिकमेंडेशन है कि इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग अ यंग कंपनी और इफ यू आर फ्रेंकली इवन पर्सनली आई एनकरेज यू टू हैव दैट वन हार्ट टू हार्ट कॉन्वर्जेशन सुनर रैदर देन लेटर एट दैट मोमेंट इट फील्स वेरी पेनफुल इट फील्स लाइक इट इज अवॉइडेबल फील्स लाइक यार कितना मुश्किल कॉन्वर्जेशन है कितनी अच्छी हमारी दोस्ती चल रही है दिन भर हंसते खेलते रहते हैं हम लोग बट वो जब आप पहली बार मुश्किल कॉन्वेशन करते हो ना द बॉन्ड्स दैट दोज क्रिएट आर सिग्निफिकेंटली लॉन्गर इट्स एक्चुअली क्वाइट आयरोनिकल राइट या इनफैक्ट द कन्वेंशनल थिंकिंग शुड बी दैट इफ यूर ओनली हैविंग गुड कॉन्वर्जेशन तो अच्छी जिंदगी रहेगी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा बट उससे क्या होता है 
दोनों लोग जो है अपने अंदर में छुपा रहे हैं जो ट्रबल्स हैं एक दूसरे से हो ही नहीं सकता देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप दैट कैन बी देर विद नो टू पीपल नॉट हैविंग डिसएग्रीमेंट्स या बट अगर वो डिसएग्रीमेंट्स एक दूसरे से बात कर पाते हैं हो सकता है दोनों पार्टी एक दूसरे का पूरी तरीके से 100% रिजॉल्व ना कर पाए जो दूसरा पार्टी चाह रहा है बट कम से कम देल बी एबल टू हैव दैट कन्वर्सेशन एंड विल बी एबल टू अप्रिशिएट ईच अदर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट इज 50% ऑफ द बैटल वॉल सो आई फुली एग्री विद यू दैट दैट ट्रस्ट इज बिल्ट ओनली व्हेन दैट द अपोजिंग पार्टी और एनी वन ऑफ द टू पार्टीज बिलीव्स दैट uh this is a conversation the other party is willing to have and is willing to make amends hmm jab tak ye do cheez hain true hain tab tak logon ko lagta hai ki hum saath mein milke kaam karenge na we will make this happen and that's true not just for business relationships it's true like you said for personal relationships for families or everything yeah. but having open hearted conversations is crucial don't keep it in your heart or up your chest yeah okay tell me let's let's shatter it down to ground level zero again okay You said <coughs> it's very important to have those conversation early on, okay? And you said building this, building that, process design, सब बहुत जरूरी है, सब जरूरी है. ये सब सीखते कहाँ से हैं? You didn't go to college. Which college did you go to? By the way, I I, I did not go to college. So you like didn't, I, you didn't go to college. No, I, 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 no, I went, went to ISB uh, and everything. So I I went to ISB for three days, three or a week. I think they were very nice to uh, let me then pursue what, uh, what I had to. I think they're doing very well as a. Uh, as college, but I never really finished college. Okay. Right. Uh, because I went to the TL fellowship, mm. uh, and then uh, you know I had to sign a contract that I'd not go to. Uh, I'd stop out of university for two years. Uh, but I think more uh, important than that context is saying that I have always believed, and I think uh, this was actually the first line on our TL fellowship contract. For those of you who don't know what the TL fellowship is, I was going to ask. Uh, you there's this person called Peter Thiel who founded PayPal, early investor in Facebook. I first saw him in actually this movie called The Social Network as yeah. weird as it may sound. Um and and I started searching about him and these are the days when you know you used to use internet from the cyber cafe nearby. Oh yeah. For 10 rupee an hour uh you know internet usage. I searched about Peter Thiel and I started searching who this person is and I found about the Thiel fellowship. I saw there was no Indian resident who was a Thiel fellow before me so I was a little disheartened but I still applied. Mm. I thought apply karke dekhte hain who knows if it, if it yeah. uh, works. and the questions were fantastic right like there were amazing questions that otherwise i would have never received so i felt matlab koi puchta hi nahi mujhe aise sawal to kam se kam inhone form mein puch liya to main jawab de deta hu uh, long story short right after uh, you know uh, uh, my application uh, in a certain period of time i got a you know uh, uh, you know call saying that you're the top 40 candidates and uh, we would like you to come to pitch to the united states to san francisco boss i went from raigada to kota to mission district in san francisco so it was a culture shock of um, a like. completely different proportion and it was two or three days before the pride parade uh, uh, in san francisco which happens around uh, the area so it, I, i just learned something completely different in in the uh, city and uh, met so many different people learned so many new things uh, in the city but it was the first time i got on uh, uh, you know and in any international flight i used my passport for the first time a complete um, you know i feel Uh, uh you know I, i'm very thankful to the theer fellowship for that so anyway i i was uh, again i thought 40 mein aa gaye it was first and last time i've come to the us so i wrote 200 cold emails hmm. to people saying that mai us pehli baar aaya hu aur akhri baar aaya hu kyunki mera theer fellowship mein to hona nahi hai inhone mujhe bula liya top 40 mein bahut achhi baat hai i'm very thankful for that but aap kya mujhe apni shehar dekhne doge so for example uh you know god bless his soul uh tony she who started zappos yeah maine unki book padhi hui thi to maine unhe cold email likha he hosted me at vegas at his apartment wow right and he also of course uh, his team gave me a tour of the zappos office uh, all of this as a 18 year old was fascinating to me but all of this was just hustle right which is saying mm-hmm. that us is the first and last time i've come <laughs> because apna to koi life mein what matlab okay exact kya email tha i want to know that email email mein kya likha tha because it's it's a very important lesson for everybody yeah. no i think sabse pehle to uh, and i'll tell you how i found out ki aise yeah. emails likh sakte hain so uh, when i was starting the company i used to uh, like full time employee to afford kar nahi sakte the to hamare sirf interns hote the saath to main interns ko pucha tha ki tumne kaise apply kiya hamari company mein so kehte the humne 200 logon ko email ki aap ek hi jane ne jawab diya to hum aake jod gaye aapke saath mein <laughs> तो मैंने सोचा दिस आई शुड ऑल्सो अप्लाई आई शुड ऑल्सो लाइक मैंने सोचा कि मुझे अगर यूएस में दो ऑन्टरप्रनोर से मिलना है मैं दो को लिखता हूँ उनमें से दो तो होंगे जो कहेंगे कि चलो मिल लेते हैं बाकी वन नाइनटी एट ज्यादा से ज्यादा मना कर देंगे रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं करेंगे uh-huh. हमें तो ऐसे ही कोई एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं है तो ट्राई करते हैं सो द ई मेल से डियर टोनी आई एम रितेश आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस कंपनी 
uh, which is trying to provide accommodation for people here in India. Uh, I'm very early uh, in the game, so I don't have any big business or anything. I'm very thankful that the Thiel Fellowship Foundation have invited me for uh, top 40 uh, candidates. Uh, and I have put my best effort for the pitch. Um, uh, uh, you know, and I, I will try and make it when I'm uh, landing there. It doesn't matter whether I become a fellow or don't become a fellow. Uh, but I, uh, it's a probably uh, an unique opportunity for me to see United States. I have heard a lot about the country. I'm excited about solving problems in India only. Yeah. But I want to see US. Uh, and I've heard a lot about Vegas and your work in Vegas downtown. He's been doing, he donated uh, almost uh, hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade the Vegas downtown. So can you please, uh, you know, uh, uh, let me come to Vegas. I have no money to come to Vegas or stay there. So it will be very nice of you if you can help me with it. So it is like this, like most people didn't respond So mm. uh, to be fair. But Tony Shea uh, and God bless his soul, uh, uh, you know, uh, he departed from the world last year. Uh, but uh, he responded saying that, sure, I'll have our team uh, look at it. Uh, and, and, you know, it was fascinating to me that, you know, uh, 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 that happened. So I think, uh, and this is not just something I did for this, right? Like even for reaching out to investors, for employees. I write 200 emails, then 500 respond. Because life is hard, right? Like yeah. I didn't come from a college where I could call and reach out to my ex-colleagues, uh, ex-classmates. Uh, uh, I didn't come from a company where I could call my ex uh, call uh, team members and colleagues. So uh, how do I reach enough people? I would reach enough people by just, um, you know, writing to them as much. And, you know, what I did was back in the day, there used to be a tool called Reportif. Okay. I don't know if you remember. R-A-P-P-O-R-T-I-B. No, I think LinkedIn only bought it. So it was a tool, it was a free tool. It was like a Chrome plugin in which if you typed the first name, last name and company name of the person, it would, uh, you know, uh, and you put, uh, uh, you know, what you believe is their email ID. It would tell you whether that email ID is correct or not. Oh. So that was a hack. And what I used to do was I used to do first name in at the rate company name dot com. Mm. First name dot last name at company name dot com. And I tried 10 permutation and combination. Mm. Or reportive, and what reportive essentially did was they could check whether that email was connected to one of the social IDs or not. That's how ah. they checked whether the email ID was legit or not, right? So this way, I knew that I was writing the right person. I was so much like, respond because I respond because it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the difference between young hustler and most of us. I was cyber cafe jada tha aur kuch chalane. This cyber cafe ja rahe for Thiel Fellowship. That's the difference. But also, I also started writing a lot of emails to start speaking around the world. So I applied in United Nations to become the youth representative. Wow. To give speeches there at the age of seventeen. I was like, I have to say and I will do it. And surprisingly, they have to say And the best part is, every year, one specifically thing for each person is only one person. In the whole country. So they get 192 people from 192 different nations. And in India, I will select. And I am the youngest one. Once I go there, I am like, I don't want to go back. Like, I have to do something. So I started doing the same thing. I started writing emails to every MUN, UN, colleges, college ka organizers. In fact, I saw that colleges didn't invite me to speech. Dene ke liye. So what I did, college went to the kids' names. Then the kids' names were their Instagram ID. Then Instagram ID was personal DM me. You know, you're the head of this committee. So you're the head of this college. And that's how I used to reply to, like I used to text to 100 people. One used to reply to give speeches. Kind of similar story. Okay, so where, where do you learn? This was the primary yeah, question. So I think, I think the first college one, nahi haan, toh pehla uh, hai ki reach out to enough people. Uh, because uh, to your point, right, which is saying that college nahi to learning ka opportunity. So I was coming to Thiel Fellowship. So finally, I Thiel Fellowship. Mil gaya. I'm very thankful hmm. to them. So the contract was the first line. Tha. It said, we never let university interfere with education. So it's uh, uh, thoughtful. Hai. But what it essentially means is that education is Yeah. आप फील्ड में जाकर के हमारे होटल ओनर मिस्टर शुक्ला से सीख सकते हैं या जावेद भाई से सीख सकते हैं या फिर आप अपने टीम मेंबर से सीख सकते हैं या तो फिर आप अपने कस्टमर से सीख सकते हैं या तो आप अपने इकोसिस्टम से सीख सकते हैं या तो आप अपने कॉलेज में जाकर सीख सकते हैं तो ऑल ऑफ दीस आर जस्ट वेज ऑफ लर्निंग यू कुड लर्न इन एनी ऑफ दीस प्लेसेस राइट सो फॉर मी आई हैव फाउंड फाइव और सिक्स वेज ऑफ लर्निंग व्हिच आई होप दैट यू नो सम ऑफ इट मे बी आई आई डोंट थिंक ऑल ऑफ इट विल बी बट सम ऑफ इट विल बी वैल्यूएबल टू सम ऑफ द अदर एंटरप्रेन्योर्स uh, listening to us. I think the first thing that I care a lot about is reading. I spend a lot of time reading. And reading is a combination of three things. I read, of course, books. I think a lot of people do it. The last one I read, which I uh, am a... Uh, actually, 
the last one i read that i recommend is actually um no rules rules okay. um read. i think it's a, a fantastic book written netflix. by reed hoffman sorry not reed uh, reed hastings hastings uh, the founder of uh, netflix what an amazing book right it just and when i was reading that book it told me like a lot of those stories were similar to us right the uh, they had a crisis they unfortunately had some of their colleagues depart it was emotionally the hardest thing they had ever done but with the colleagues they had and the support of the alums they had they recreated netflix to become the company that they have built yeah so i think fascinating book uh, so i think that's one second reading is the most important reading, okay i want to break it down and then we go to second point tell us top 3 books you want all of us to read as an entrepreneur so you know i will actually tell um uh, not i'll tell books but i think along with books i'll tell you two other things to read okay the first thing is in books uh, you know no rules rules i think 0 to 1 is a very very crucial one yeah. i think that is something uh, uh, that um, you know is is goes without saying and of course it's written by peter thiel so i have special uh, love for it i have Admiration a signed him. copy of 0 uh, to 1 from Damn. peter thiel i'm jealous <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the third one i would say is um uh, you know uh, uh, uh the 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 hard things about hard things right i think ben horowitz ben horowitz uh, book i think that's another and he's of course among entrepreneurs considered the uh you know uh, the star so i think these are three books okay but What i think the other two things the, the two other things that i'd like you to read i think encourage people to read a lot of business and startup leading publications on current news okay. right like you know the ones that you were talking about earlier um for two reasons right the first one is just generally for uh, you know uh, relating yourself with those people right like relating for saying that i want to be a problem solver i want mm. to make a difference around the world if that's of interest for you and if you want to be an architect then spend time reading about architecture ad like architecture digest is fantastic right and bunch of other publications but i think uh, figure out what's your calling and then their specific industry publications if you can and for startup entrepreneurs I think there are a bunch I will not call out them uh, uh but you should know that there are just many of them like yeah. uh, around yourselves. Yeah. So you can call out one which is in the progress to build it's called three things to know daily.com yeah. which I'll be building. No, no absolutely. <laughs> three things to know daily.com uh, takes the cake everything else is also valuable. Right? And the th- and the third thing that I'd encourage you to read um or or at least I think the third one is actually just videos I think in this new world access to youtube as just fascinating right yeah. I, like i and of course you you are of course a massive successful creator in that i think youtube audible i think platforms which are audio slash video are just incredible ways of learning because in just reading platforms they're quite valuable but you don't get the emotion right like you don't mm. figure what's in between those lines yeah so i think uh, listening in uh to at least 3 or 4 or 5 um uh, key videos regularly as a way to constantly learn um you should do it like for example i was fascinated about geopolitics mm-hmm. as you know that's been impacting businesses quite a bit at least global businesses over the last year so there are a couple of channels that listen in primarily about geopolitics about right and again i don't make decisions basis that but i'd like to learn about current affairs from people who um uh, lead for example uh schools of uh, government um mm. or schools of public policy because that's an area that i had never thought about yeah. and i thought it's an interesting area for me to want to learn so this is one that is reading in these three segments second thing that i believe is also quite valuable or a way to learn from is bringing in fantastic colleagues around yourself yeah it's brick by brick ye aasani se hota nahi but having top quality colleagues is just remarkable way of learning whenever i come to my uh, every monday morning we have what we call as a man- management committee hmm. right so all the leaders get together we review our previous week and we talk about a future week and various details i'll tell you i have a good sense of insecurity on that meeting every monday right <laughs> because uh, there are uh, multiple harvard business school grads in that room there are multiple people who have built their very successful businesses earlier there are at least uh, five uh you know top consulting company partners or uh, uh past leaders in in those firms so these are all people who are very accomplished and when i go into that room they bring opinions and views that are so thoughtful and so organized that sometimes i feel like are they doing more for making oyo successful than i am 
Mm. So what that has led me to do is two two things. First, the good sense of insecurity makes me prepare for that meetings very well. Yeah. So Sunday evenings, I will start preparing for it. Right. I've I've not told it to them, but I prepared <laughs> very very hard. So that's why people in the meetings feel like, how is this guy so well prepared? He's bringing new insights. That's because I deliberately plan for it. Right. Because uh, I want to come in in that room and also add value. I think it's a great thing, and the reason I call it a good sense of insecurity is critical. Insecurity is of two types, right? Bad sense of insecurity, which is when you're constantly feeling that, am I creating value in this room? Why am I yeah. here? And so on. Second is a good sense of insecurity. Yep. A good sense of insecurity makes you a better person, yep. right? So you're the average of five people beside you. The five people people beside you are just stars. You will like it will push you beyond your comfort zone to become a star. Absolutely agree to this. I learn from people in the industry, so I always see that ये काम करने में सबसे अच्छा कौन है? अगर मुझे सीखना होता है कि सेल्स कैसे करना hmm. तो आई विल रीच आउट टू समबडी एट एयरटेल हु हैज रन लार्ज फील्ड सेल्स टीम्स एंड वाज अ सीईओ एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम कोल्ड ईमेल्स टुडे द गुड न्यूज इज मोर पीपल रिस्पॉन्ड देन दे यूज टू बैक इन द डे एक्चुअली मोस्ट पीपल रिस्पॉन्ड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल पीपल गिव अ लॉट ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग आई ट्राई टू रीच आउट टू पीपल हु हैव डन अ ग्रेट जॉब बट दिस इज समथिंग आई ट्राई टू डू ऑलवेज फोर्थ एजेंडा लेस कॉन्वर्जेशंस Okay. A lot of times when you are meeting your team members, uh, young colleagues especially, and when I say young colleagues, I mean people who are associates, senior associates, just joining the company, spending time with them without an agenda, just truly really asking them, what are you spending time on? What are you learning? What are we doing right? What are we not doing right? Learning from the last mile is just fascinating, right? I try to surround myself with those people to try and learn from them yeah. uh, quite a bit. and you know i and i'll end with this i think there are many other ways to learn i can uh, which i used to learn I, i'll before i come to that just two last things i download a lot of apps okay right like i download hundreds of apps okay so uh, product hunt um uh, app sumo uh, <laughs> and uh, app stores yeah are my favorite hanging out place okay <laughs> so in weekends i'd spend two or three hours just downloading hundreds of apps and just seeing what product managers are doing around the world mm. because you know if there's like if you can get the learning of a thousand product managers without having to recruit them why would you not <laughs> right and then we i take all the learning and we all as a team and i just don't do it now our mm. entire product team does it okay and every week uh, i or some product manager will stand up and share with everyone else saying what did we learn from our Quest of twenty app downloads. Okay, right? <laughs> it's just a fascinating way to learn, that's especially an, when you're a product a company, way, right? Yeah. So I think I can go on, but I just wanted to end with saying that um, I think fundamentally, going back to what I sh uh, shared earlier, entrepreneurs have to be quicker, faster, and mm -hmm. more, which is uh, larger uh, uh, learners uh, around themselves because they have to constantly think one step ahead. they have to constantly think one step ahead and unfortunately and you will feel this as an entrepreneur already if something breaks down nobody is here to tell you what you do next yeah it's you everybody around you is looking at you saying you will tell them what to do right it's a very unique privilege i most people see it as a challenge but i see it as a privilege it's an honor that uh, so many people trust in you like you said now if like after that if we can't make it work then you know we must not be good enough at least i i think i must not be good enough so these are the things i do to learn and i hope some of this is valuable to uh, your viewers they definitely valuable dude this is an this is a crazy thing even if somebody picks up one thing and goes deep down inside to learn more about it they can be a very better learner and they can learn like a lot of stuff themselves well our quick question okay it's very evident and everybody says that to build the right team to learn from the colleague to get higher like smarter people than you how do you find smarter people in fact in fact i have a bet the other version of it sometimes you feel that some person is smart but that comes at a price tag which you can't afford as a small business yeah then what do you do i think it's a great question uh talent building right So the first one is how do you find good people? So the first thing is there is no science to it. It is a brick by brick. Is pay, you know, हमारे हमारे तरफ कहते हैं जो झाड़ू होना पड़ता है. So you have to be uh, able to keep fighting hard long enough, mm. and there will be light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. So what did I do? 
So uh, let me actually not share what did I do. Let me tell what Peter Thiel did because what he built at the PayPal Mafia is an inspiration for entrepreneurs around the world. So for people who are listening to this, uh, Peter Thiel had uh, built a team of 10 people. Most of them ended up creating unicorns, decacorns or, you know, $100 billion companies. Yeah, I yeah. think now uh, Elon Musk working with him at PayPal now is, I think, trillions of dollars of company. So a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people who worked at PayPal uh, as partners or colleagues, I think, have become very successful. Yeah. So this eventually has gotten the name of PayPal Mafia. So I was reading one point, one place where how did he recruit these people? I actually got the honor to ask him in person as well, but I'll tell you what I read first before I tell you what he told me. I think in the reading, what I constantly learned, uh, what he what he what what was written was saying that we are two smart people. We asked both of them who are the ten smartest people you know, hmm. and we went and recruited eight or nine or uh, or of the 10 of them. Right? So that's effectively what I did as well. That is bringing in the first two or three colleagues was exceptionally hard. Yeah. Right? But, and both three jagah mein, it was back borrow steel. LinkedIn mein likho, mm. profiles dalo, doston ke paas reach out karo, milo. Hundreds of people you'd meet. And these people don't just have to be good enough. They have to be good enough to also believe in you so much that they're willing to take a bet on you to charge no compensation, right? It's it's very it's very weird to imagine, right? For people to say that, nahi, I will trust in you. Yeah. Or kuch log believe nahi kar paate aur kuch log ke paas resources nahi hote. Because yep. you know, everybody has their own constraints, right? We, are, we have to also respect that. Some people don't have the wherewithal to say that I'll come and work with by taking this risk, right? So finding those people is extremely hard. Hmm. I was lucky to find them in the early days. But even today, we have to keep the same thing going, right? Yeah. So referral is by far one of the best ways in which we recruit talent today. That is, we reach out to people saying that who are the best people to recruit. Second, good news is we can uh, pay well today. Um, so we uh, we ensure that people feel like they're well compensated. But I always say that you should always seek not money creation, but wealth creation. Yeah. And make money from compensation and so on. But at OYO, we have 100% of our employees actually now... Uh, if we consider some of our off-role staffing, I think almost 70 to 80%, 12,000 employees, current and past of OYO, a lot of these are past employees who would have left at some point of time. Each one of them has an OYO stock. Whoa. Right? And all of them have created some wealth in the company. So they're all in the money. There's nobody who will say that, you know, I'm not in the money. Intense. Right? That is true wealth creation. Yeah. Right? That is not just money creation. Money is just compensation. You make yeah. something mm -hmm. and, and move on. So I feel that wealth creation is something that I believe is not something that today I see that more and more people appreciate it, mm. but we started investing it in it back in the day. So for example, in we were probably the earliest to ever do a uh, equity buyback. Mm. We did it, I think in 2015 or 2016. And the reason I did it yeah. was because I wanted to prove that this equity has real value. Mm. Because a lot of times people used to say, Achha, equity is a paper, then they say, it's real value. So as we buyback kiya. So people really appreciate that there is real value. And after that, we made a commitment as a board that we'll do it every year from here. Mm. Right? We've consistently done it. So just gives, now what has happened is when we do buybacks, not enough people are willing to sell it. Yeah. Because they say that, you know, now we know there is value. So we're uh, willing to hold on to it. Of course, if people have some requirements, they uh, choose to do it. People also want to evolve their uh, choices in life and lifestyle. So I think my perspective is good talent. So you'll have to fight it. There is no easy way out. Uh, that is by far one of the value you will add as an entrepreneur and as a management. But uh, once you bring the talent, keeping them is 10, 10x more harder. Mm. Um, and, you know, we are very lucky that uh, we have a relatively stable team where almost none of our colleagues have left the company ever since they've joined them, joined us. Our CXO group, almost 70% of us have spent almost 70-80% of the time in the company. So we bring in top talent and keep them for as long as we can. And even new people who come in, they also end up staying for long enough. So we try to, and I ask them, saying, Kyu and I think the biggest reason is if people truly feel like an entrepreneur with you, no, nobody wants to leave. If people feel like they are an employee, I think they don't want to leave. So they, yeah. an accountable entrepreneur. Hmm. Right? Sometimes people feel entrepreneur ka matlab accountability nahi hai. Accountability nahi hona matlab nahi hai. Jimmewari or accountability, Sata, responsibility and accountability comes together. And I think when people feel like that as entrepreneurs, I think they accept. Yep. I also feel that if your employees at any point feel that they've stopped learning, 
or there's nothing new to learn they drop out even if you pay them well it's like they need to at every given point they need to feel that okay today if i'm coming here to the work i go off as a better person Absolutely. not worse i think look i think this is such a good thing you've called out raj team members don't just uh leave you know uh, not just team members leave because that one day even entrepreneurs who are not pushing themselves to become a better person next day lose interest in pursuing their business very quickly yeah especially young like millennials right because we are in this fast paced world of instant gratification so in this i absolutely agree with you and that is an example of agenda less conversations speaking to the front line i think um, you know obsessive uh, this morning only i met one of my colleagues right i think there's this word we spend a lot of time talking about which is obsess obsessive about your front line that is your front line team members who are your associates team members who are just starting their careers with you making sure that you spend a lot of time with them to make them successful if you do that your company will be successful and they not only will they stay everyone above them will also stay because they're successful then everybody else is successful yeah so i fully agree with you so is there a mo- model or a process where how people can take their business from x to 10x a framework yeah look i think i'll break it down into two parts okay the first one is uh what does it take to scale up a business uh and the second one is what to do before the scale up so i think when you scale up a business and and again there is in, in my view again this is something that will be different for different companies so mm-hmm. please don't consider this like a uh model that one can replicate 100% mm-hmm. i think there are uh, the first one is to ensure you have a playbook okay uh and playbook is just a word for it but it essentially means that whatever motions your business does codifying it to the simple uh, uh human being so there is a new person who comes and reads those 5 or 10 or 15 pages they should understand what do you do how you do and what you do process note like a process note equivalent right so our playbook in the early days meant you should go to hotel patrons who um, are ideally offline and if they are online they do not know how to manage their premises best uh, they are in good locations uh, they have parking basic uh, perspectives these are the hotels you should go to so how to choose your hotel second after you choose your hotel what's the proposition we'll give you this business jump we'll give you oyo os and coyo which are our softwares by using this you'll be able to get more business and manage your premises better by using a software but the expectation is we will be your exclusive distribution partner across channels and we'll be your service partner brand partner and so on then the third thing is saying now that the proposition is in how do you sign them and bring them on board so there is a platform called internal oyo or you know orbis orbis will send a link to the merchant merchant can accept it by reading all the terms and can uh, move ahead what will happen and how how much time will it take for the hotel to go live when it goes live how do you know the customer service is good what do you do for the first week third week fourth week and after fourth week it becomes stock and then there is a relationship manual review so this is all basically what happens in the journey mm. um, uh, of let's say launching one new hotel on the oyo platform yeah let's say right this effectively translating into a playbook for whatever business you are in will be valuable and hence before that and i'll keep uh, moving between before that and after that before that it's important that you yourself and your team should have done it 3 4 5 times mm. to know that this playbook works yeah because if you don't know that whether this playbook works you write this and start scaling so you'll end up frankly even after writing this after 5 times because 5 is a very small scale right you'll always get it wrong between 5 to 20 yeah but this uh, uh, chances of error or the percentage of errors will be lesser relatively so that's the first thing so playbook is critical second good talent in the early days when you're scaling over optimize for good talent even if it means that you're needing to bring in people uh, uh, you know for a certain role uh, uh, probably you know who are one level more qualified for it because in the early days you need people who can keep control spend more time review the situation can make personal decisions to change the playbook if they feel like if you have somebody who says that i'll follow the playbook to the t that's a problem right you need somebody who's also smart enough first principles oriented to make these decisions the third thing i would say so start with playbook <laughs> second Overall get the right, right person who will come in and uh, play the role and the third one is ensure that you have the right cadence cadence in the sense you have to constantly discuss and review in order to make sure that whatever changes you have to make you can make those changes relatively and the fourth one is watch for costs in these times scale and costs are almost directly proportional 
technology driven companies should be um, you know uh, generating operating efficiency hmm. right and i you know we've made some mistakes on this earlier yeah. so it's critical that we thoughtful about it. so i call it P- pcc right <laughs> focus on playbook and people and on the second hand focus on cadence and cost okay if you do this four things right i feel reasonably comfortable that uh, you know there is a high probability to be successful in scaling up um and and i believe that uh, you know uh, india is again a market where essentially scaling while not easy uh, is probably um, you know we have the privilege to scale in india yeah because we're a country of a billion people we are uh, uh, you know uh, among the world's biggest economies we are uh, knocking the doors of the top uh, three economies as we speak so i think uh, you know india is a place where you should be asking yourself why am i not scaling <laughs> okay so with for scaling there's one more thing apart from your ppcc model i think there's one more thing which is very important and it's in the blood in india it's it's the bloodline of every indian that's jugad so i want to ask you like a quick thing what's the most jugadu thing you have done in the oyo's journey <laughs> oh i think see jugad is uh, you know jugad has many definitions so before i come to that i think uh, jugad has many definitions but i think um in my view there is one kind of jugad which is basically saying that i will try to hide a broken thing by putting a chp over it right <laughs> and the other way of jugad is being creative in problem solving yeah for tough challenges for which you don't have enough resources mm-hmm. i think the second form i call it as uh, Uh, you know creative jugad yeah right which is uh, truly value creative right frugal innovation yeah, frugal innovation right so i think uske andar mein i'll give you two or three examples humne company shuru kari branding aur marketing ke liye hamare paas paise nahi the so we thought how do we do it how do we do it so uh, we started putting signages on hotels today you will see those bright red signages no matter which part of india you are in which part of indonesia you are in which part of malaysia you are in which part of uh, london you are in you like it's very hard to miss those bright red oyo signages right they're actually not as expensive yeah. uh, as it is to like have a television ad or get actors uh, you know uh, by media and so on and so forth so it was a frugal innovation uh, to say that use signages to reach out to enough number of people the second innovation that we pursued was being able to convince our uh, you know uh, early uh, you know uh, merchants to join us so we used to all like always go to our patrons and one of our ask used to be do you like your value creation so far yes they used to say yes perfect business growth has come and so on then i would it, uh, typically or our teams would typically say mostly small hotel owners know all the other small hotel owners hmm. so you ask we used to ask them to select their entire phone book and send them oyo is a great company this is ritesh's number please call them immediately and join the platform you know people used to call us saying that you know in india in small businesses is three idiots ki movie mein wo dialogue hai na which is saying utna bura nahi lagta jab apne fail ho jaye zyada bura tab lagta hai jab dost stop kar jaye right wo small business ke liye bhi true hai agar dost small business hai aapki small business bhi theek nahi chal rahi hai to aapko problem nahi hai but agar bagal wala bahut acha karne lag jaye तो बड़ी तकलीफ होती है तो हमारे पहले जब ओनर बड़े सक्सेसफुल होने लगे तो उस रोड से बड़े लोगों का फोन आने लगा कि अच्छा जी आप योयो से बात करो एक तो लोग हमें योयो बुलाते थे उससे अच्छा आप योयो से बात कर रहे हैं हम कहते सर आप जो बुला लें हम आपके सेवा में हाजिर हैं तो जिससे कि अच्छा आपके में हमें अटैच करना कि आपके में बिजनेस अच्छा आता है सो आई थिंक दीज आर जस्ट बेसिक हैक्स एंड यू नो वी ऑफकोर्स नाउ सिस्टमाइज ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फोटोग्राफी we saw design of the room played a very important role in click through rates hmm. so we changed white light to warm white light colorful linen to white linen single stripe satin linen uh, basic things like bed lamps portraits and we saw it from the top 5 hotels hum yeah. ots mein jaate the websites mein jaate the hum dekhte the top 5 hotels mein kya design hai hum waisi design hamare hotels mein karne ki koshish karte the by recommending the owner to make those changes that started creating a lot of business hmm. then we translated that into a platform called oyo frames which is our imaging sciences tool okay so photo dekh kar ke wo aapko rating batata hai ki aapke yahan pe char cheeze aap karoge to aapki click through rate itni se badh jayegi oh so aap design behtar karo it's like how netflix creates yeah, movies yeah, nowadays yeah. right 
so uh, that's the second jugadu thing i think the third thing i would not call it jugadu but i'd say or or uh, uh, frugal innovation i'd just say uh especially when you're building something grounds up with limited or no resources um in a market which is not yet fully proven uh with no past background a lot of these things i had tick marks on uh, i'm again i'm i'm not saying that out of excitement uh, but i just didn't have tick marks on on those uh actually today i am saying that with excitement let me change that I, yes i'm saying that with excitement but i think with that life comes with a lot of challenges and the and things that are thrown at you are incredibly challenging raj and i'll tell you a, a, a few examples like those uh, for and and uh, the reason i say this is to say that there like the the one big takeaway that i believe is valuable for any entrepreneur wanting to build their business is resilience and believing that there is light at the end of the tunnel mm-hmm. right because a lot of times when life throws challenges at you people give up too early yeah the difference between a super successful aunt, like i always say right aap log kai bar you know uh, when i was starting up if i met somebody at a cafe they used to say that acha wo business aapne dekha jo chala hai maan lo flipkart jo chala hai wo idea mere paas bhi tha maine bas nahi kiya aise log kehte hain aapne suna hoga aise log kehte hain na to i always used to think when i used to meet uh, them i used to think that do i want to be the person who said that ye oyo wala idea mere paas tha par maine kiya nahi वर्सेज द पर्सन जिसने कर लिया तो मेरे को बहुत क्लियर था लाइफ में कि आई वॉन्ट लाइक आई विल एग्जीक्यूट एंड आई विल मेक दिस हैपन बिकॉज आई नो दैट देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम हियर टू बी सॉल्व आई विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड क्रिएट एन इम्पैक्ट सो आई नेवर वॉन्ट टू टू बी द पर्सन हु सेज दैट बिकॉज आई गेव अप टू अर्ली आई एम नॉट द पर्सन हु सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम और इज नॉट इन द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्व और अ पार्ट ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम so i think to this extent i used to live in uh, delhi in a uh, barsati right uh, i don't know if you know what a barsati yeah, is yeah i know barsati is like a uh, you know a house ke upar mein ek chhota sa thatched roof uh, mm-hmm. ka uh, room bana dete hain mm-hmm. delhi mein to wahan pe shuru mein rehte the aur fir uske baad mein you know again another room dono jagahon se mujhe kabhi na kabhi nikala gaya hai kyun because wo deposit khatam ho gayi uh. jitne paise the wo to kaam mein kharch ho gaye अभी घर वालों को फोन करें तो इमिडिएटली कहेंगे कि आप भुवनेश्वर या रायगढ़ वापस आ जाएं और अपना बिजनेस चलाएं यहाँ पर या फिर नॉट नॉट बिजनेस अपनी पढ़ाई पूरी करो जो भी आपकी कॉलेज की या, या जिसकी पढ़ाई है तो आई यूज टू कॉन्स्टेंटली थिंक दैट आई कॉन्ट डू इट राइट सो आई हैव हैड दिस मोमेंट्स राइट लाइक आई एंड यू नो उस समय अच्छी बात क्या बिकॉज यूर सो यंग इट डजेंट बॉदर यू राइट सो आई रिमेंबर यू नो वन ऑफ दिस डेज आई एल नॉट कॉल आउट बट द लैंड लॉर्ड सेट इट्स ओवर यूर आउट टू नाइट ऑन वर्ड्स थैंक यू सो मच बट उनने ना जब लॉक किया दरवाजा और चाबी लेकर के गए वाईफाई बंद करना भूल गए तो आई हैंग अराउंड ऑन द सेम स्टेयर्स फॉर दैट नाइट मैं उन्हीं स्टेयर्स पर आप बढ़िया वाईफाई फाई चला आई हैड नो प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ इट इज आई लुक एट इट एंड इट फील्स लाइक आई लाइक व्हाट वाज आई इवन थिंकिंग वाज डिड आई हैव इवन लॉजिक व्हाई वाज आई डूइंग दिस स्टफ बट आई थिंक परसेवरेंस इन दोस टाइम्स राइट लाइक आई रिमेंबर uh uh in, in, in the, you know uh, uh i think like i, I don't want to uh, glorify these times so i'll i'll actually cut short of this but i think uh, i just want to share that uh when times like these show up it is um it is very easy to say that ho gaya hamara hmm right um uh, and this is true for most men to padha hai and i've read uh, jo entrepreneurs ke bare mein ki apple was going through bankruptcy or bahut it was very close to bankruptcy they survived जो हमारे इंस्पिरेशन जिन्होंने मतलब हंड्रेड एक्स थाउजेंड ऑफ एक्स बेहतर कंपनीज बनाई हैं हमसे और बड़ी कंपनीज बनाई हैं तो दे हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस इलॉन मस्क ही वाज ऑलमोस्ट बैंक व्हेन ही वाज फंडिंग स्पेस एक्स एंड सोन एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर ऑल ऑल्टरप्रनर्स इंक्लूडिंग माई सेल्फ ऑफकोर्स वी आर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड बाय वॉट इलॉन मस्ट डज सो आई थिंक इन इन अलॉट ऑफ दिस कॉन्टेक्स इज जस्ट फैसिनेटिंग दैट एवरीबडी गोज थ्रू दिस चैलेंजेस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्रिएटिंग दैट साइज ऑफ आउटकम और नॉट is before anybody else are you a believer and for that are you going to be perseverant or not and in that for different people with different resources the problem statement will be different yeah for some entrepreneur it will be two months of money left uh, for some entrepreneur it would be uh, uh, stopping to take salaries personally for some time for some entrepreneur it would be an investor who's not willing to support you for some entrepreneur it would be uh, some trusted colleague of yours leaving midway in a very important time for some call, uh, someone it would be a client uh, dropping out at an important time for someone like me it would be being thrown out of your house but you know it, it i'm sure every entrepreneur goes through it but i'm just sharing that for new entrepreneurs 
I think it should just be seen as something that they have to be perseverant about. This is one thing I always encourage. You have been perseverant, right, about everything, and you have scaled it big, and have this problem, which I think you're solving. I want to know. The problem is, if you look at India, our culture is too much inspired and influenced by American culture. The food we eat is McDonald's. The brands we use is Apple, WhatsApp, like all of these, right? There's no Indian brand who's actually out there. You talk about like India. Me, we have Starbucks. India, me, we have Apple. India, me, we have your uh, just like I, I said right now. There's McDonald's. सब है मतलब इन फैक्ट अमेरिकन क्लोदिंग ब्रांड्स हैं शूज है सब चीजें हैं पर इंडिया की कोई भी ब्रांड नहीं है जो बाहर है ही नहीं दस नथिंग वॉट्स द रीजन एंड डू यू थिंक दैट ओयर इज गॉन सॉल्व दैट एंड इज ऑलरेडी सॉल्विंग एक्चुअली सो आई सो यू नो आई थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू जस्ट अप्रिशिएट हिस्ट्री बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट द फ्यूचर राइट सो आई थिंक हिस्टोरिकली यू नो वी इंडियन एंटरप्रेन्स हैव ऑलवेज बीन वेरी एंटरप्राइजिंग शुरू में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग था मीन्स टू एक्सपोर्ट थिंग्स इवन लाइक बिफोर इन सिल्क ट्रेड दिस दैट लाइक वी टू वी टू वी वेर थॉटफुल एक्सपोर्टर्स एंड पीपल ऑलवेज न्यू कि इंडिया से सामान आया ना अच्छे क्वालिटी का होगा देन केम द लास्ट यू नो फ्यू डेकेट्स ऑफ वॉट इज आर सर्विसेस एंटरप्राइज एंड यू नो आइकन्स ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री मिस्टर मूर्ति मिस्टर नलिकनी they built companies uh, and of course uh, mr chandrashekar and they built companies like infosys tata consulting services and so on which have demonstrated to the world that you know indians understand how to build like or people companies from india know how to build great softwares now my perspective is we figured out how to manufacture we figured out how to develop great products all we have to now do is make sure that instead of reaching out to customers via other platforms of course which is a great way now we should also try and reach out to users directly over a period of time so this is the first context of what we are uh, solving for at least not just me but this new generation of entrepreneurs in india who are saying that we want to create products which are not just products which are white labeled or provided for other companies which are products that directly customers will come in and buy by choice saying that mujhe ye saman khareedna hai inka saman khareedna hai इनका सामान मेरे लिए बहुत अच्छा काम करता है द सेकेंड परस्पेक्टिव विद इन दैट इज वॉट डज इट टेक आई थिंक इन द प्रीवियस वर्ल्ड इट वॉज हार्डर बिकॉज देर इज टू बी सिग्निफिकेंट कल्चरल डिफरेंस राइट ग्रोन अप इन इंडिया ओवरसीज कल्चर आर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट एवरी कंट्री से हमारा कल्चर थोड़ा अलग है बट आज दो तीन चीज़ों से बदल रही हैं ऑल लिंक टू टेक्नोलॉजी फर्स्ट इज अर्लियर इफ यू हैड टू बिल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थ्रू फिजिकल मीन्स it used to be very expensive yeah now you can just be on the app store and people can start using you so it's suddenly very easy to distribute your product second cultural barriers are easily broken by technology because the color and um, uh, kind of the code doesn't change with um, which country or the features may change a little bit but code remains the same yep right so structurally cultural barriers get bridged by technology it's a great uh, uh, barrier uh, enabler and the third in my view which is also very exciting to me is the power of digital uh, to be able to learn about each other right uh, learn meet connect with each other and so on so i think these three enablers which is digital as a way of distribution digital as a way of breaking barriers cultural barriers and digital as a way of learning about each other and connecting with each other these three in my view are enabling new age brands to be able to reach out to enough people with a very low cost it's mm-hmm. like start, a startup right 10 yeah. saal pehle startup karna bahut mushkil hota tha yep. kyunki aapne ji server 10 20 saal pehle you didn't have a cloud uh, etc right now amazon or, or uh, microsoft or uh, you know one of the cloud service providers right oracle uh, somebody will come and give you a coupon for saying that the first 500 dollars on us yeah hamare yahan pe aa jao aap right that kind of uh, ability Reduce, dramatically reduces the cost of starting a new company yep in the same way now expanding globally is becoming cheaper and cheaper by the day yeah so you can be building in like you know patna or uh, bhubaneswar and the service can be made available in downtown san francisco without like any anything, uh, yeah. uh, concern or or so on i think oyo and companies like us are making a significant push towards making this change 
I think uh, OYO is doing a lot of it. Um, Urban Company, for example, is available in multiple geographies around the world. Cars 24 has become available in a lot of countries around the world. Um, uh, Zomato is available in multiple countries around the world. Uh, Baiju's is becoming available in multiple countries around the world. Baiju's is actually uh, doing just an, an, an incredible job of uh, taking our uh, products to different parts of the world. So just fascinating that there are yeah. this new generation of brands, which are consumer brands. They are not just uh, softwares. They're consumers coming in and purchasing them at a retail price and enjoying that experience. Um, and, you know, uh, like, for example, if you drive around Texas, it's hard to not find an uh, OYO, right? Uh, uh, especially in some critical freeways. So we believe that we will want to not just ensure that uh, OYO becomes that company. We would want, at least my request would be twofold. One, entrepreneurs and professionals listening to this discussion, they should know that the cost of growing globally, which earlier was thought to be like a massive deal, has dramatically reduced. Yep. But there is a lot of value in focus. Mm. So you don't need to be launching all countries at once. You need to learn, like I said on Playbook, right? Do two, three times yourself. Once you learn it, then you expand. Uh, and we've learned about it ourselves. And the second thing, which is even more important, is I think we also have a responsibility for that. Because we're building such amazing products in our country. Every country, when they have become uh, economic enablers for the world, they create companies which are world champions. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, in, in its own times, Japan created its world champions, right? Sony, um, uh, you know, uh, and, and a lot of other companies out of Japan that became world champions. Um, in US, there are multiple companies that came as uh, world champions. So I hope that there will be more companies that come out of India. And we are certainly working to see that if Oyo can be one of them. But I'm sure it, it's not just one company that can do it. It's a group of uh, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs who all and uh, team members who all have to be hungry for saying that will make this difference but at OYO we will do it in a very thoughtful manner we will not want to do everything at the same time we announced recently that we will not recently two years back that will be focused just in India Indonesia and North Europe as our areas of expansion and growth and we are very committed there everywhere else our software is available people can use this and we'll continue, uh, uh, you know, sure. keeping a close eye on saying as we perform, we will continue investing or, or con continue uh, re reassessing this. So apart from your three things, which you said, it has become very easy for the world to do it. I think there's one more thing because of why everything has become very easy to go global is content. Yeah. Because I feel content shapes culture, culture builds communities and communities brings change. So it starts with content. If you are putting as a company, you're putting out the right content to actually bring the change out. You can do it very easily and you can go global because language is no more a barrier. I mean, you can, even if you're doing it in English, I saw one of your, uh, one of your videos, which NAS did on you that got, uh, that got turned around in, I think 17 different languages and they all have views and everybody knows your story. So that is a great way to bring content as a forefront to lead the change and let the world know about your story and your company. So that's also one way which people... No, no, I think the, the power of content and content creators in the current generation we're living in is unprecedented. And the reason I believe so is like you're mentioning, content influences cultures. That's a very core anchor of, uh, you know, uh, what the world is seeing at, as we speak, right? If content which people connect with by design, a content is worth its salt only when enough people want to watch it or relate with it and so on. So I think in that context, you're absolutely right that in the new world we live in, one of the biggest reasons why global is easier is because people appreciate the content of different cultures a lot more yeah. and hence are a lot more open to considering new things. Yep. So um, I, I, I believe that content will probably be one of the biggest enablers for the new globalized um, you know, way of operating together. On that note, I, this is the question of the day. We ask this to every guest. Every guest had the same question is, what do you think I can do or we can do as a company here to go 10x from here? How can we improve? What can we do better or what can we go? Like, what can we do beyond? Look, so first off, I think you should know that um, uh, you're doing a fantastic job in enabling content which is uh, truly value additive on a daily basis, right? That is, uh, people come in, consume this content, and then uh, take something out of it that is valuable for yeah. them. Um, and, and I'm so glad that 
uh, you figure a way out to make sure that you take out as much as you can. I think that's a fantastic thing that you do. My perspective would be that uh, given you're creating such fantastic content, making sure that it reaches to as many people is valuable. I've been seeing uh, that your recent views have been uh, growing like this. You, you were in the thousands, then tens of thousands, then hundreds of thousands. Now you are dealing in millions. So, uh, you know, all more power to you and everyone in the team to continue to do better and scale up from here. Uh, but, you know, uh, when, when you grow, I think you'll always have this fascination, which I, you know, certainly until now it's not come, but there'll always be this fascination of saying that how much should we dissuade from adding value to users versus distribution? I think uh, you should always solve for adding value more than distribution. So while today you'll focus on scaling, but whenever you have this challenge and you will have, every company has this constant question of saying that, Achha, ye do type of content introduce kar lete Isse value nahi hoga, but distribution aajayegi. I think in those places, be thoughtful about not getting there. So far, you're early in the game. You're uh, doing an exceptional job. You're someone that people revere. It's very inspirational to me how you've gone from, I didn't know about your business that you're building with family, by the way. That is um, just fascinating to me that you built a real business, grew it 22x, and then said, I'm going to leave all of this and do something completely new. And the world of content creation is a tough one today because, um, you know, you have to bring distribution purely by good quality content, even at a time where some platforms, I'll not name which ones, uh, it's harder to get the content out there if you're not, uh, you know, uh, putting dollars behind it. Yeah. So really reaching out to people with good content and virality is a, is a tough one. And, uh, you know, you have, you're among the few people who have gotten to the scale that you have. Now it's about, uh, you know, uh, doubling down as, as we say in our job. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And I think that's a constant question, which we ask ourselves, whether to build distribution and add more value. And that really solves for, for a lot. Thanks you a lot you build, you know, I always say, right. Uh, uh, there is supply and there's demand. India is a supply constrained market, not a demand constrained market. But what I mean by that is saying, if you create great content, people will find their way to it. But if you find great distribution, doesn't mean that you'll be able to find great content as an outcome of it. So, um, you know, more power to you for uh, continuing to create great content. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for doing this. Really appreciate that you gave time and came down to the studio. We are sorry that we didn't come to you. We wanted you to inaugurate our studio. And no, no, I've, I've, I, I'm, uh, our office is not very far from here. So I get to uh, come to your studio and then go back to work. Lovely. Thanks for being at our colleagues. pad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me here, Raj. More power to you. Keep winning. Thank you so much.